Hey, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? How am I doing today? Oh, I feel good. Call me no coat bloke. That's right. No coat today. The weather is nice. And you know what this is. This is an XJW video. And before we get started, I need you to hit the like button the same way you should anytime you see an XJW video and leave a comment to help the YouTube algorithm show it to as many people as possible. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You have very, very nice ankle hair. You know that hair that's around your ankle. A lot of people don't notice it or, or really like to just say how amazing it is. But it's amazing. That's some good ankle hair right there. Top 10! Anyway, today I want to talk about the Jehovah Witnesses. The group I've always affectionately called, <laughs> affectionately, <laughs> affectionately called the answer to who the hell is that knocking at my door this early? Because that's what they always are. It's always the Jehovah Witnesses showing up unannounced since 1914. <laughs> And before, you know, they've been a while though. They've been a long a while. It took a whole pandemic to stop them. Even though nothing should stop them. But apparently a virus, deadly viruses, that'll do it. That's <laughs> to stop their ministry dead in this track. But anyway, the reason I want to talk to them today is because I've been doing some thinking. The Jehovah Witness organization itself is kind of like, I would describe it as the religion of worshiping being wrong. You know, like they actually... Worship being wrong. <laughs> like, like, for the very inception, they've always worshiped being wrong. Jehovah is God's name. You sure it's not Yahweh? Because if I'm, if I'm, like, really sure, I believe that they didn't even have a J sound in the original language. Like, there was not a J, there was not a J sound. So how did you get Jehovah? When it wasn't a just sound, I'm pretty sure it's Yahweh. <laughs> but they're like, you know, no, it's Jehovah. It's Jehovah. That's the way we translate it. Like, your name would be translated differently in different languages. Like, if that's the thing. Like, if I go to Jamaica or something, like, yeah, your name is Bogwan. Like, no, my name is Jay. No, it's Bogwan. <laughs> You're like, okay, I guess I'm Bogwan now. When they call me, Hey, Bogwan, come here. I'm like, who the hell are you talking? All oh, right, that's me. <laughs> now you see, the Joe Witness organization, when I say they worship being wrong, it's not just because they are wrong a lot. You know, that's kind of meaning. It's because they literally take steps and move in the direction of being wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, they confirm and make sure that they're wrong. They're not just wrong. They're positively wrong like they're sure that they're wrong they take every step and measure to confirm that they're wrong at every given turn because they're proven methods to get to the truth or at least near the truth even the proven methods doesn't guarantee that you're going to have the truth but they at least get you close to it they're against even those proven methods i'm sure every day they wake up and they're like dear god jehovah not yahweh Please, please make sure that any and all truthful and logical information stay as far away from me as possible, dear Lord. And if you could, but place your mighty hands on me to protect me in case somebody tries to point out something reasonable and logical that goes against what I believe, dear Lord. <laughs> protect me from my own family and friends and loved ones and people who want me to be good and okay and right about things in life. Protect me from those evil bastards, your Lord. <laughs> your Lord. <laughs> but more than anything else, they just don't want to be right. They probably end the prayer like this. And in Jesus' name, one plus one equals 11. Amen. <laughs> like, they're wrong all the time. Now, how can somebody be against the truth and be against like logic and you know being on the right side of things first off you need to stay away from people who appreciate being right you know like if you had a group of people like you know what sharks don't bite if you talk to anybody else they'd say well, I'm pretty sure you're wrong about that like I'm actually hella sure you're wrong about it sharks can't do much 
The only things they can really do is swim and bite. Like those are the only things that they can do well. So you saying sharks don't bite, you're wrong and you're absolutely wrong. The only way you could be right about something that crazy is if you talk to other people who are in the bubble and don't talk to anybody else and y'all just kind of confirm shit together. You know, y'all just sitting there. Yeah, sharks don't bite, right? So it's the smell. Yeah, sharks don't smite. Sharks don't bite. They might lick you, but they won't bite you though. You know, they can swim real good, but they won't bite you. And they can swim backwards. <laughs> sharks can't swim backwards. But the point is this. Inside of that bubble, inside of that little kingdom hall, which usually is the bubble, nobody else allowed is allowed in there with a different opinion. Because if you get in there and you start talking about stuff that's different than what everybody else believes, then you're going to be unceremoniously hauled up out of there. <laughs> you're going to get walked right up out of there as quick as possible because they're not in the business of getting to the truth and finding out good logical information. They're in the business of confirming crazy. Yeah, one day you're going to get old and you're going to live in paradise forever. And that way you won't grow old. You'll be old, but you won't be old. You're not scared of me. You'll be young. Your body will be young. You'll be thousands and millions of years old. You'll never die. And the lions, they won't eat you. <laughs> then tigers and sharks really won't bite. You know, they'll lick you, but they won't bite you. Lions and tigers, they're going to use those claws and fangs to eat fruits and vegetables, apparently. I don't know how, but, you know, fangs, I guess they're going to like have some apples hanging on each fang and then just lick them all to death. I don't know. But the point is, it's dumb. And for people to believe that, make them dumb. The world is the way it is, and, it was, and it's the way it is. <laughs> but the point is, is that if you're in a bubble, and you are against good information, then you will get bad information consistently. And you cannot live a life based on bad information because your life itself is only based on choices. Your entire life, where you are and where you're going is 100% based on choices. We as human beings rely on information and it has to be good information. Because if we are constantly getting bad information, then we're gonna constantly make bad choices and it's gonna put us in a bad position in life. It's very rare for somebody to only receive bad information their entire life and grow up and be successful. How can that even happen? We are a creature that learns and we take information, good information, and we apply it to our life and we make less mistakes than the generation before us. <laughs> in theory, right? But when you're a Jehovah Witness and you're constantly receiving bad information and you're constantly being told bad things, don't live with somebody before you get married to them, are you crazy? How do you know you'll be able to live with somebody if you don't live with somebody? You understand? Like, how do you know you'll be able to be okay with the way they sleep at night or if you can even sleep with them? You know, like, come on. There's certain things that you can only learn through trial and error but that's just one thing there are so many things that Jehovah's Witnesses tell you that are just wrong just, just not right there's no other way around it some of the stuff yes is misinformation some of the stuff is like you know they tell you half truths or whatever but a lot of the stuff is just flat out wrong and you only get one life and if you spend your life making decisions based off bad information you will not have a good and happy life. It's not how it works. You take your life and you take your things that you learn and you make a better life for yourself and your children. And then you give those, those kids the, the good things that you've learned to help them make less mistakes in their lives. That's why this organization is so dangerous. That's why I speak out on it. That's why I'm going to continue to speak out on it. Because people have one life to live. And living a life based off bad information, it makes for a bad earth in general. 
Not to mention robbing people of their talents and stuff because some people, they have the ability and the talent to do amazing things and bring happiness to other people. That religion gives them wrong information and tells them to ignore those talents and to ignore those things that could make literally the earth a better place. That's why in my mind, it's almost like they worship bad information. What do you mean listen to both sides? How about I listen to just my side? How about I listen to just stuff that makes me feel good? How about that? That seems good, I like that. <laughs> but it's proven that when you listen to both sides, when you take in all the information, when you just sit up and you actually research, not just what somebody tells you you can look at, but look at everything there is that's out there, you make better decisions. And in a life based on the decisions that you make, and in a life where the quality of life is based on the decisions that you make, you do not want to be inside of an organization that constantly feeds you bad information and only leads you toward worse information. You're not kind of mean. I don't know. I'm just hoping you get what I'm trying to put out there in this video, you know? Because I want people to get in a position and to get used to getting good information and taking that information and living the best life possible. You feel me? Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm having a great day. Holla, Chiguala. Deuces.